estate deals, okay? Now, we all know the 800-pound gorilla in our industry. I'm sure, you know, you've come across their advertising in your market. We buy ugly houses, right? Homebesters. The company that runs that campaign is a franchise with offices in pretty much every market across the country. So it's safe to say, right, that they have one of, if not the biggest marketing budgets in our market, in your market, right? Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could just call the owner of Homebesters and say, hey, I know you guys uh, get a ton of leads and are making a ton of money. Would you mind just telling me how you're getting all those leads? Because if you could, that would make my life a whole lot easier. Wouldn't that be awesome, right? Yeah, well, unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have that, okay? I don't think he'd, he'd take that call. And if, and if he did, he'd probably just laugh at you for asking, right? But look, here's the cool thing, is that the internet has a bunch of amazing tools that will actually tell you where people are getting their leads from. I smile when I'm saying this because wait till you see this, okay? It's, th these are free tools, by the way. Some of them are free tools. Some of them are paid tools. But check this out. I want to show you guys one of my favorite ones. This is a free one, by the way, okay? There's an upgraded version, but there's a free one you can use online. Write this down. It's, you can see it on the, on the screen, right? www.similarweb.com. So write that down. Now, when you go to SimilarWeb.com, it looks like this. At the top, you see a box that says, get your free report on any website. Just enter the address, the website address. You enter the address, right, of the competitor. So in this case, we're going to put in for this, you know, we buy ugly houses. So put that address in there. And boom, it starts showing you all this data, all this information about these guys and where they get visitor traffic from. I mean, this is... This is cool, okay? If you scroll down a little bit, it'll actually show you all the sites that they advertise on. Isn't this cool? So if you look on the left there, right, you see on the left, you'll see the top sites they advertise on. Number one is, what is that? PrepBaseballReport.com. Number two, FreeCourseGiveaway.com, and it goes on from there. So you can see exactly where they're getting their leads from. I don't know why, but that's where they're getting them from. And I don't ask any questions. I'm modeling here. So I go to prepbaseballreport.com, and I pull up this page right here, right? And immediately I see it. There's the banner on the right side of the page that points back to their website. So this is interesting. I now know how they're getting traffic to their website. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but you see the little blue triangle in the top right corner right, of the ad right there? Right? If you click on that, that tells you that they are using Google to place ads on their site, which is great, and I'll tell you why in a moment, okay? So hang tight for a second. All right, now if you go back to SimilarWeb.com and you sign up for an account, you can actually access all of the ads they've ever run. Is that cool? All the ads We Buy Ugly Houses is running, not only that, It'll show you how long each ad has been running for, okay? It'll say this ad was running for three weeks, but then we never saw it again. But wait a minute, this ad has been running for 645 days and is still running today, okay? So if an ad's been running, guys, for 645 days and it's still being used right now, what do you think about that ad? You know, one of two things. Either they're morons and they, and they like to just burn money, right? Or number two, it's working really, really, really well, right? So if you know it's working really, really well, if you've been paying attention to today's presentation, what should you do? You guys are saying copy it. No, we're not copying, right? We are modeling it, all right? There's a difference. So we know two things, where they're advertising and what they're saying, okay? So now we'll model what works simple all right so we're going to get some banner ads that look similar to theirs we're going to model their design model their message model their sizes and where i go personally for this is i go to write this down 20 dollar banners.com simple so you're going to go to 20 dollar banners.com it looks like this i say here are the banners i'm trying to model and then for 20 bucks they model the banners Notice again, I didn't copy anything. They have a picture of a bag of money. I got a picture of a bag of money, okay? 
Their call to action is on a red bar at the bottom. Guess what I've got? I've got a call to action on a red bar at the bottom. Okay, it's not the same headline. It's not the same call to action, but it is on a red bar. Okay, I model the look and feel because for some strange reason, people on that site click on the ads like this. Okay, so why would I try to be creative and figure out some new way of doing it? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to model what they did. Now, if you think about it, you're going to take that ad you just created, go to Google AdWords, and simply place your ad on that site. And within seconds, the leads that were going to your competitor are now going to you as well. Peter, wait a minute, how did you know that you could just go to Google and place the ad? Remember that little blue triangle in the ad? Clicking that showed me how the ads are placed on that site. Now, I'm curious. How many of you guys just had an aha moment, right? I mean, seriously, you guys are going nuts right now. I've been watching on, on the chat side here. This is amazing. Yes, right? I don't know about you, but when I first got started, getting leads was really, really hard. Like I said, I tried everything you can think of, guys. I tried all sorts of things, including looking on MLS for deals, but it was hard. Everyone looks on MLS, guys. Everyone does. Everyone looks on MLS. So all I did was I get caught up in bidding wars, right? And eventually I had to drop out because the prices went too high for me to make money. I kind of like to picture MLS as a pond. And surrounding that pond are hundreds of people fishing. The problem is there's only five fish in the pond. It's going to be pretty hard, if not impossible, to catch a fish in that scenario, right? That's what I call it. So why would you go to that pond to fish where there are already too many people there. No way. Guys, there are way less people fishing for deals online. And out of those people, nobody is doing what I'm showing you. And because of that, this strategy makes it way easier to find deals. This right... Pretty hard, if not impossible, to catch a fish in that scenario, right? That's what I call it. So why would you go to that pond to fish where there are already too many people there? No way. Guys, there are way less people fishing for deals online. And out of those people, nobody is doing what I'm showing you. And because of that, this strategy makes it way easier to find deals. This right here, this strategy alone, anyone can do, and it takes almost no time. It's not hard, guys. This is our number one strategy for generating tons of motivated seller leads. And to take it a step further, since we know that these guys have spent millions of dollars running ads and testing, what gets the most people to actually submit their information through their website? We modeled their landing pages too. All I had to do was click on the ad link, that SimilarWeb.com gave me for free, and I got to see their landing page. And model it too. So that's how we get the exact same leads that are going to our competitors to come to us instead. Okay? Now, I have a question for you. If you've been following this quick flipping process, right? We modeled what works. We modeled the system that we know is making money. We found the ads right, of our biggest competitors that are being used to bring leads to their sales funnel, and we didn't copy it, but we modeled it, okay, we modeled the process, right, and if you modeled what they did, do you think you can have the same success they have? Heck yeah, this is why this whole thing works, right? Now, I've covered three pretty cool things here. I want to recap these things again for you right now. 
Secret number one, we talked about...